How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me again on tea. I'm gonna taste this jambalaya first. Let's just go ahead on and cook. Get the part of the chicken that I like. Turtle stew, come here, boy. Mm. You know that looks good? This is going to be good, I guarantee you. Talk to it like it knows what I'm talking about. I like it, it's good. I believe in easy cooking, believe me, I do. How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. And today, we're gonna cook some no-fat greens and then a fresh pork jambalaya. You can diet part of the time and you eat that good fat pork the other time. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to get the no-fat greens going. So we'll have to let them cook and pass a good time. Uh, I need a cup of chopped onions. I'm gonna turn the fire on first right this minute. Let's see if I get the right one. Nope, never do. <laughs> Got it right that time. Put that on a medium heat. Get, and into that I'm going to put a cup of chopped onion. And boy, mm, they're good, they smell good. They're sweet, nice. I love onion, I love onion sandwich. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Garlic sandwich, too. I like that, too. While that's getting ready to go, I'm going to put a one and a half teaspoon full of chopped garlic. Chopped real fine. Don't want to lose any of that, I'll tell you right now. That's my tasting spoon. I can do that with it if I want to. Now, then I'm going to put a tablespoonful of smoked salt. Look out there, boy, don't bite me. <laughs> this is a smoked salt and it's very good. Uh, this, you're gonna think these greens are barbecued, I can tell you the truth, you really are. I added something, I got to stir. Then I'm gonna put just a, a tablespoonful of liquid smoke. Let's see what this is. Li liquid smoke. <laughs> well, you think you're gonna get out of here? You wrong, you're gonna get all of that in there. We need every bit of that. That's how come we measure it so carefully. And then we're gonna haul off there and put a cup of dry white wine. This takes the bitterness out of that smoke because it has a bitterness to it. Now, this is a Chablis, and it's very drinkable. I've drunk four or five of drinks of it <laughs> in my lifetime. Stir. I'm going to put a tablespoonful of Worcestershire sauce in there to be sure that we let it know that's Worcestershire. All right, now get in there and then you go in. Stir. Whenever you add anything, you got to stir if you're going to cook something easy and make it easy cooking. Two teaspoons full of Louisiana hot sauce. We can do that very, very easy. That was a tablespoon full of Worcestershire sauce. Two teaspoons. <laughs> That's not even a whole teaspoon. <laughs> That two teaspoons in there now, though, I can tell, see? At the top of the bottle. And I shuck it, too. And I stir, always stir, just the least little bit. Now, I got two or three, I got three bunches of mustard. I love mustard. I love any Drew Greens. I really do. I like kale. Uh, if I could have gotten some kale, I would have done the, this instead of the mustard. But I have the mustard, so we're going to cook with that right now. But what I've got to put in there is just a little, little dried mint, a teaspoon. And this is a teaspoon for it. I'd bet money on it. Sure is. A teaspoon full of dried mint. And it's just about to come to a boil.
see, you notice I haven't put any salt in there, but I've got to put a little salt in there. I don't care what anybody said, but you don't have to until you go to eat it. But it says it's three bunches of mustard, washed real well, and tough stem remove all that stuff. And I'm gonna, right now, put it in there and stir it into it. That's good mustard, cold too, in an ice box, in the frigidator. You think that pot ain't gonna hold it? I bet you it does. Now I ain't going to just stand. Let's get it all in there. Every little old bit of it. Water and oil. Got it. Put this in here. Get it out of my way. Get in there now. I'm gonna put this over here out of my way for the time being. Come here to me, you. Let's go in there. Stir this down into that real good because it's gonna cook good. In fact, I'll have to turn this fire down very quickly, pretty soon, I bet you. Oh, man, whoo. You know, I thought of some old Cajun stories I may have told before, but not lately. And I haven't heard them in a long time, and I'm planning on telling three or two of them today. As soon as I get this going good and, and see about my jambalaya, get it started, I may just tell you a story or two, I guarantee. That ought to be enough water to hold that, and I'm gonna put this on there. And I'm going to turn that fire down. Anything I can't stand is for something to boil over on me when I'm uh, cooking a little bit. Come here to me, chair. I'm going to put this on low, that medium low, all the way on low, and that'll be just fine. Now, what I'm going to do is put this... I, I'll keep my recipes where I can see them because, believe me, when you cook as many dishes as I cook, there's no two ways about it. You got to look at the recipe so so you won't get it wrong. Don't you see? Now, into this I'm going to put a little olive oil, a couple of tablespoons full of olive oil, to brown that nice pork, to make a pork jambalaya. To me, that's the best jambalaya. There's no two ways about it. Everyone I eat, I say this is the best I ever tasted. It says here two tablespoons full. <laughs> That's about right. Put that lid back on there good. I don't want to spill my olive oil, no. 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 Let me turn that fire on. Got the right one that time, yeah. All the fires are going real good. I'm going to put this on a medium, and I'm going to put that pork in there and just brown the hell out of it. <laughs> This is cut special for jambalaya. Let's get in there, boys. And it'll brown. Take a little time, maybe, but it'll brown. Let's get down in there real good. Let's see what kind of fire I got. I may have to put that on a medium. That's what it's on. Got the burner. Now, while that's starting, I got to tell you all one story I haven't told in a long time. It happened years ago. Because, you know, I'm a safety engineer. I wear both a belt and suspenders. I don't take chances. <laughs> I've done a lot of safety work all over the world. And I'll tell you right now, I heard that they had a big meeting in Chicago called the National Safety Congress. Not like the one in Washington, D.C., but all about safety. Well, when I first started, I wanted to learn all I could because I needed, I needed to learn all I could. And uh, so I went up there, went to a big boarding house called the Colorado Hilton. <laughs> Walked in there and there was a, a club behind the, the desk, you know. He said, what can I do for you, partner, huh? I said, not a damn thing, partner, I got a reserve here. He said, you do? What's your name? I said, front name or behind name? He said, both of them. I said, you stand real soon. He don't understood that. He said, how you spell that? I'm so glad he actually could have just learned how. <laughs> I spell it for him. 
Y si le mis hijos, cargue, 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 Right across it walked the biggest damn bed bug I never saw before again in my life. And I back up four or three steps and I looked that cluck right on eye and said, I want to tell you something. I've been bit by the flea in Shreveport, Louisiana, led by the spider in Houston, Texas, and chased by the policemen in New Orleans, Louisiana. <laughs> but that's the very first time I ever had a bed bug look up my room number in my life, I guarantee <laughs> I got to lower that fire a little bit whether I want to or not. So I put it on medium low. Yeah, just hot enough. And it's frying just right. What I want to do is brown it just a little bit, not too much, to be sure I get all the taste of it in that jambalaya. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good. pretty good. I'm going to take it out of there and put it in that bowl, put the other stuff in this bowl, in here, and see how much of it I can have to leave out so I won't run over the thing. I bet I don't have to leave any out. I'd bet money on that. Oh, man, y'all looking good, boys. Mm. Put that back on medium. Oh. Man. You're browning pretty good, brown enough for me. I won't eat you until you cook more, though, I can tell you that. I like rare meat, but not rare pork. Taking that out of there. Then I'm gonna put some onion in that, all, all kind of goodies. And it all tastes good. That's the good part about it, yeah. Whew. Yes, sir. I have to take this out like this because I ain't gonna pick that old heavy thing up and drop some on the floor. I'd have to get down there and pick it up. Put it back in that pot with nobody looking. That ain't nice. <laughs> oh, you're doing good, huh? <laughs> that landed on my recipe, and it's clean, I guarantee. Now I'm gonna have to hold this up and dump it in there. Don't send yourself on that fire those you stand. Worry not, man, I'm not gonna do that. And I got to keep my oil in the bottom because I'm gonna put them on your in there and I want them to kind of get clear looking before I put anything else on it. Cause I'll put some bell pepper too, little things like that. Now that's pretty meat, that is beautiful. Jumble our meat, I guarantee. Now get back on that way you belong, and you just go right over here for a minute or two. Now, into this, I'm gonna put three cup of onion, chopped. Yes, sir. A half a cup of bell pepper, chopped. Now I got to stir that in there like I'm supposed to. Stir that around. All right, on y'all, get to smell it. Ooh, we that's gonna be good, y'all. Yeah, smell it already. <laughs> Into that, I'm gonna put some parsley. A cup, one cup of chopped parsley. Get in there. Got it. And stir that in. That parsley looks good, it smells good, it's good for you. I told you that for free. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Now you can go in there as you stand. Into that, I'm gonna put, not right this moment, I'm gonna put some chopped garlic, but not right this moment. What I'm gonna put in there right now is a cup of dry, White wine, that's right. The reason I'm not gonna put the garlic, you got to have a little, little liquid in that garlic. If you don't, it'll just take all the flavor. 
And I love the flavor of garlic. I'm using the line about a tin. Now I got a little liquid in there. I'm going to put that garlic in it. See that little liquid? Let's see, that is exactly, exactly two ta one tablespoon full of chopped garlic. That was a big tablespoon, I'll tell you. Get you in there. Just get it all. Get it all. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Stir it around. Stir it around there. Get it all in there. So every little bite will tell you to taste the garlic. And you're supposed to. Mm hmm. Now, into this, I'm going to put some dried mint. You know, I don't use bay leaf anymore at all. I use dried mint practically all the time. In fact, all the time when I'm cooking, because it doesn't hog the flavor like mint does. If I put that much mint in there, all you can taste would be mint. That's true. I mean, uh, bay leaf. You put that much bay leaf, all you taste is bay leaf. Down on tea. Whew. Now into that, I'm going to put a half a cup of steak sauce. I'm going to put my picante sauce first, though. That's a half a cup. It's good stuff, too. Get that, get that up. Now you go. And stir it in there good. Hmm. Smelling good already. Now I'm going to put a half a cup of steak sauce, good steak sauce. Actually, it's Creole ketchup. That's what all steak sauce was at one time, I was told. I'm not going to swear to that, but it would be, I may commit perjury, and I don't want to do that, no. And this athletic nose smells that. It smells so good that it made me remember what it was right there on my face. Stir that in. <laughs> now I got to put just a little salt. I got a lot of meat and a lot of stuff here, so I don't know how little the salt's going to be. I'm going to put in there right now about three teaspoons full of salt. That's one. Y'all don't believe me, but I guarantee you that's a teaspoon for us all. <laughs> Come here, spoon. We are teaspoons. Let's just show these people I know what I'm talking about. You see that three teaspoon full of salt? <laughs> so it is. That's two. Three. I usually put a teaspoon full of salt in for every cup of rice, and I got three cups of rice over there, and I got some other vegetables here, so I'm going to have to add another teaspoon full of salt, or just a little sliver or so, you know, just to be sure I got enough in there. <laughs> now, into this, I'm a, now we've got a, enough fire going where I can put some rice. Three cup of rice is what I got right here. Three cup. I got to put a little cayenne pepper in here after I get the rice. Put that in there and stir it in. Then I'm going to put the meat and then the hot pepper. Put the meat in there. Ooh, wee, that's smelling good here. <laughs> Y'all <Yo>, smell me. <laughs> Man, that's going to be good, yeah. Let's just put a little water on that. Come here, water. Don't act funny, just come on over here. Let's get in there with a little of you. Now you put water in here about an inch above the rice. So I'm gonna add a little more water in just a few minutes, but I'm gonna put the meat in there. So I know how much meat, how much rice I got in this doggone thing. I uh, hope I can get all this in here. I don't know if I can or not. But you know what? I'd bet money on me. Because rice is gonna take up all the water. We're going to put this in here just like we're supposed to. The whole thing, maybe. Yeah, let's put it all in there. In here, not on the floor. You didn't think I was going to get that in there, did you? Ha, <laughs> ha! 
I didn't either. <laughs> but I got to stir that rice up into this, pour a little more water, because all this will shrink as it cooks, believe it or not. The rice will take up all the water that I put in it, and then the meat will be mixed up with the rice, and we'll put a little more salt. I'm telling you, that's not enough to hold that meat. Now, I know how much I'm putting in there. You may not know, but I know. Here's the water right here. I've got to cover that with water. Now, you know, I look like that may go ball over, but it's not. Hope not, anyhow. That's just about right. Mm -hmm. See how that rice is there? Just bring it up over this. Get some of it on top of that meat so I can tell if it's a half inch of rice. I'll be able to tell, don't you worry, I've been doing this a long time. A couple of days. That's right. <laughs> All right, now let's go here. You're looking good. You're looking like you're supposed to look. I'm going to cut that fire down a little bit. I'm not going to put the lid on it yet. Because when I put the lid on it, practically all the water's gone. And that should have just a little bit more water in it. I hate to do this to it, but I got to. Got it. Three tablespoons and a half full of water. Now. Ooh, boy. While I'm standing up here, I'll tell you the rest of that story I was telling you a while ago about me at that safety, safety congress they got in Chicago. Me, let me look at this. Going good, going good. Cook, baby, cook. And I'm gonna lower this fire to a medium low. I'll sit down like that so I can read the damn thing. Hey, got it. I put it on low, actually. I stir it one more once and let it cook a while. And then I'm going to put the lid on it and it, that rice will just steam. The rest of that story dish, you know, I went and got on the alligator in that big uh, boarding house, Conrad Hills. On the alligator, and there was a lady on there with a little boy cheering, about nine or eight years old, cute little boy. And she got about a hand real good, don't want to loss him. And a great big woman got on there, weighed most a bale of cotton, 510 pounds. <laughs> and push up against the little boy when a whole bunch of them safety engineers get on and overload the damn thing, you know? <laughs> well, alligator started and went to the magazine floor and that big fat female women let out a scream zoom, knocked over 12 or 11 of them safety men getting off so fast and everybody looked at that little boy like he's a sheep killing dog and he looked at him with both eyes and he told him I did it I did it I did it she stuck it in my face and I hauled off and bit it <laughs> I got, to I got to taste some of this food to be sure it, is, uh, it tastes good to the people who are going to eat it. Now, this is jambalaya. Spread out there. Now you got it. Put that there like a little gentleman. This is mustard green. I like any kind of green. Mustard green, kale, cabbage. Turn up green, anything you got that's green, I will eat it. I'll eat anything else you got too, most probably. <laughs> now I got to put my napkin on like a little gentleman and fix this up right. <laughs> Come here, red napkin. Tuck it in your belt so it won't drop on the floor. Now you got it right. <laughs> Spread out. Oh, of course I'm gonna pour a little, little wine, a little red wine. Maybe you're supposed to eat some other kind of wine with pork, but I like red wine, so that's what we're going to have right now. And I got to taste these greens first because they look like they're good. 
Come with green. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, I guarantee. Now. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-